Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Sebastian Formella. Um, coming over to the UK, obviously Saturday night, headline fight with Conor Ben. I guess the first yeah. thing I want to ask you is, how do you feel about it now being a headline fight? Because when you first agreed to the contest, it was going to be a supporting fight to Dillian White and Povetkin. At first, I was uh, one thing was very surprised because now I am at the, head, the main event. But I'm also sad because I'm a boxer. I want to see the big fight with uh, Povetkin. So I was also sad to don't be at the fight to watch it. But it is. Uh, I'm a proud of that to uh, be in the in the land like England, one of the main event boxers. So it's uh, proud for me. Now, a lot of boxers are um, struggling to get fights because of COVID and the pandemic. You have fought in August in the US against Sean Porter. <laughs> now here against Conor Ben. You must be very happy with how things are going in 2020 yes, in terms uh, of activity. <laughs> yeah, I must say for me, it's not good for standing at home by Corona and it's many people get ill and something else. But for boxing, it's good been because Corona, they don't have the money for uh, the sell the tickets or so. So he asked us and so I can fight a, sp a special fighter like Sean Porter in America, one of the best fighters in weather where it was also a good event like event and now in england so for me it's a good uh for me there's one of the best years so it's my third fight in this year so I'm, I'm happy what would you say you learned from the fight with sean porter to take my arms up <laughs> <laughs> and protect me no I, i'm just kidding it was a very uh i learning a lot because i was uh four uh two weeks ago more uh, uh i was nearly 20 days in america And I trained in Las Vegas with Ugas in Salas uh, Academy. It was very important for me. And it was very cool to see how the, the guys on this level are trained and what I can do better. And I learned a lot of in the, in the gym of uh, Salas Academy. And also at the fight, I, I learning what, what I must train more physical or what I, can, I must change it to can fight with these people on the, on the highest level. So it was important for me. What, what do you feel that you need to improve on from watching that fight back and from being in there with someone so so good, an elite fighter? Again, did you mean with Sean Porter or now with Conor Ben? No, no, with Sean Porter, what, what did you think you needed to improve from that fight? Well, I, I, what it was, it was uh, I lost uh, nearly all rounds. So he was physically stronger and what, um, what was good for him, he fights a lot of fights of this high level. So he was... Um, He learned more to fight of this level, so it was better for him, yes. And that is, and when he, this physical, but the condition was good on me, so I can go, I go with him 12 rounds, and I have after the fight also my condition. But it was very, he was physical, very strong, and hit a lot of hands. So it was uh, different than the last opponent of me, what I'm fighting before. And that was what I learned. Oh, you must do a little bit more physical. And we start to learn it after the fight to teach uh, or train more physical form. Oh, so you're doing more kind of strength and conditioning work. Yes, uh, but more strong conditioning. So it's to stay a little bit stronger and not moving. So he, he can not that he, uh, the physical uh, must be strong a little bit to fight the people in the, in the top. How do you feel, though, having lasted 12 rounds with someone as good as Sean Porter and now fighting someone like Conor Ben, who is quite early in his career? Well, um, I'm also proud of... I, um, It's also, so you mean what is the difference between the sports fighter? Well, or? yeah, you must be very confident now because you've done 12 rounds with someone like Sean Porter. Yeah. Now Conor Ben yeah. is much earlier on in his career. Yes, but he, he is also a, a young guy who uh, trained very hard. I see his fight. He's a, a in fighter. Now the last fights he go around. He's a good fighter, and uh, everybody knows his dad. Yes, yes. Uh, Conor Ben a big. Uh, after his father big uh, steps where he must go in yes you understand me <laughs> and so everybody watching him oh is he like his father no he's his own character and he do his also a uh, very good boxing and was also well but because he wins 60 fights yes of course he's uh, young and stand up in, in the beginning the first fights is not difficult and it's what better and better but he get when you watch his fight you see he get better and better so it's also for me a very uh, strong fighter and It would, but it would not be easy to fight with him. What will be the key factor that gets you the victory? What what will it be that's better from you than him? I think, uh, I think it is um, because 
and he make not the long amateur fights and now six I don't uh, I hear maybe in one fight when you make 20 30 amateur fights and so he make all together 50 fights and it's something different to make amateur fights and I have more professional fights and fight more fighters on the high level it's a different fight uh, to fight somebody when make the good fighters uh, sparring yes i i saw he make also good sparring with uh, very strong fighters but it's always a different to fight for, uh, to go 12 rounds like Sean Porter or something else so i think the key is where i have more fights and have many um he have you know only winning in the professional yes and i maybe my fight and bang i know oh the first round go around good. When I go down and near, was near by the knockout, I come back stronger and win the fight. Yes, I change the fight. So that is something for make me strong to do something good. And because I know how it is to come out from the bad side to come in the front and win the fight. Yes, may I think it's uh, that I make more more fights. That is one of the key. Tell us about your own amateur career. I have one hundred fifty fights. And I don't know, 100, uh, nearly 120 wins. But I will be never uh, fighting for the national team and something else, but I will be never a Germany champion. Okay. <laughs> so you represented Germany internationally, but never won yes. a national title. Yes. Yeah, but I never won it. But I, uh, because I make, uh, when I was uh, 18, 19 and 20, I was in the national team for three years. And when, when also I was two, after that national team, I was two years in the sports army. And where, but I never, uh, I fight also international fights, but I was never uh, in the national champion. <laughs> okay. T tell us some of the um, famous names that you fought as an amateur that we'd know. Konstantin Buga. Yeah. But it was 75 kilograms. I, I, I defeat him uh, in the, uh, it's calling Bundesliga, you know, like yeah. uh, football Bundesliga it's, it's in Germany. I defeat him. Um, I fight Martin Dresden. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit younger, yeah. It was my first uh, fight for seniors. And I lost the fight, but I fight for him four rounds. with uh, close by close, uh, I fought, I've, uh, lost it. But after that, I go to the national team because I was young. He was older and he said, well, okay, the body is here to come to fighting and never give up. So he uh, take me to the national team. So uh, Harun Zipai, you know him, he's also yeah. on that. Yeah, so this fight, I fight a lot of Germany and, and international. I uh, in France, um, there also was third of Olympic, uh, I don't know, 16, I, but because I failed in the amateur, I fight also 75 kilograms and sometimes 81 because I work and I don't want to make so uh, stuff to eat. And now when I change to a uh, professional, I go down with my weight and I have discipline. So I stay all the time, 72, 73 kilograms to uh, have no problems to go down. What, what was your job <laughs> before? Oh no! I I also working now. I oh. uh, work. Uh, I working in the port. I buy. I uh, drive a big container bridge. I take oh, okay. the container on the ship and down. Yes, because I was in the sports army and they take me. Uh, uh, it's in Germany, so we take you one year more and more every year one more. But if if you sometimes no work, he say yeah, say goodbye. We don't care about you. What you have after the boxing? Yes. So I I make the work and I also still stay where. Now I have uh, free for, for the fight. I take the last week, I, they don't pay me. I stay at home and can train the last four weeks before I go to work. The last, uh, in this uh, October, I was in the work. And, and where's that? Which, in... which port is it? Hamburg. Hamburg. Hamburg, yes. So, and, and so it's when something happened with boxing. Yes, I love it and I do it so long I have fun. And when something happened to me, I, damage my hands or something else, I can always say, oh, uh, I have my work was good, important for me to have an, a second, how we can to have a, uh, you have a second stand, you know what I mean? Yeah, when yeah. You have something happens, you have something. Yeah. Um, what, why did you turn professional quite late in your life? You were what, 27 when you turned professional? Yes. I want, normally I, uh, saw, saw or universum in the old time. Also, uh, I trained there. They asked me to come to a professional Shown earlier when I was 23, 20, yeah, 23, but I don't go because I want to make, learn something and work. Then because I want to stand, when something happened, I have I always my work. So, and what's important because I, in the, I see it in the national, in the sports, I mean, how it works. It's, if you work good, everybody loves you. If you don't work good, he say goodbye. He give, he give you every day the hand. And after one year, he say, well, who are you? Yes. Yeah? So <laughs> it's, 
it's sports, yes. It's when you was of a high level. It's like like you when you're a good fighter. Everybody know every boxer know it. So or every sport, man. What what do you think a win against Connor <coughs> excuse me, Connor Ben on Saturday night can do for your career? Who, uh, who is winning for the Saturday now? No, no. If, if you win on Saturday, if you win against Conor Ben, yes. what will that do for your career? Well, it's important because if I come to England, everybody see. Oh, he go after the big fight in America. I have no. Uh, I I fight him for legacy, you know. Uh, so now I uh, whenever everybody here I bought, uh, in Germany, oh, you call Conor Ben is the son of uh, of a big guy who makes so many fights. Every- you have no escape, so no, I do it. I love the sport, so I do it for legacy, yes? <laughs> and it's important. So I, when I fight him and I win in, and on Saturday, it's a big step, also a big step for me because I hit, uh, I defeat a big name, um, a big name in my record, and they again step to fight a big fighter. So it's for me, it's important, like uh, like for him. It's, it's very important for me to be, uh, defeat him. And do you have your own family? Do you have a wife? Do you have children? Uh, I have a girlfriend, uh, but no child. And uh, but I have a big family. My parents and so we all together like big, big family. Yes. <laughs> and how can fans out there find you on social media, Instagram, Twitter? Uh, Sebastian down under uh, the the oh, line so down under and yeah and Formella. So it's Instagram. It's uh, better right back, and it was very important to as far well, and. It's better than Facebook, I think. I lo- like it more. And yeah, uh, that's good. Brilliant. Well, really, really appreciate your time. Um, I know you're, you're uh, in the bubble now. So good luck <laughs> for the rest of this week. Hope you don't get yeah, too same. bored. And um, good luck on Saturday night. Thanks, sir. So thanks for the interview. And maybe we see us after the fight with a positive resolution. <laughs> Great stuff. All right. Take care. Speak soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. See, see you.